Hey guys, and welcome to more World of Guns Gun Assembly. Today we're doing the Calico M100. So the Calico M100 is just, it's actually just like a, a long, um, a long cartridge using 22. As you see, those are just regular 22 cartridges. I guess they're the long round ones, not just the center fire ones you see in regular 22s. But it looks like it's something really fancy and crazy, but all it is is a, um, just a 20, a fancy 22. It was made for, um, just like law enforcement and maybe light, um, military use. It's just a very light, easy to max faster gun. It's very easy to carry and use, so. That's what it is. If you think it looks <laughs> kind of funny, that's all it really is. Guess, no? Do you have to click on something for it to go down? Oh, yeah, these pins. So I was busy talking and wasn't actually paying attention to what pieces I'd taken off. Cut back the bolt array and put it back on the magazine. So, there we go. Let's hop into the disassembly next. It's actually an interesting rifle. I've never seen one of these in real life and I actually just did some research on the gun before I started it so I could actually tell you guys what it is. So, oops. pull up the upper ribbon clamp assembly. Lower ribbon clamp assembly. Then you can remove the magazine outer shell. Clutch plate. Front end cap. Magazine spin compression assembly. Oh, yeah, they pulled the spin driver there. And then you can just remove the follower there. Perfect. So, pull back the bolt assembly. Take out pin array. Lock it up. Pull out the bolt. Okay, hand screw assembly. So let's just pull off the whole upper receiver. Um, so pull the buttstock and the pivot pin. You can move the pivot arm and the buttstock release assembly. Your end cap assembly, which also has a spring release button. Okay. We're kind of hopping all over the place here, um, but we're trying to go kind of from back to front. Okay, so also pull out the sliding arm track assembly. Magazine catch assembly. The rear sight assembly. Oh, the whole barrel comes out there. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so... Oop, not this piece. Just the barrel nut comes off first. Then the barrel shroud. Then the front sight assembly. Okay. Front sight post. Slide ring assembly. And front sight post pin. There's also a barrel key there. Okay, so then we get to our bolt here. Pull off the buffer. So let's put the return spring. Okay. We have bolt handle assembly here. Fire ping assembly there. And what's this here? Or is it just right here? Oh, it's an extractor assembly. I'm not used to extractor assemblies with pins. So but like no reason why extractor assemblies can't have pins. So bolt catch assembly there. Pistol grip cover assembly. Pistol grip assembly. I wanted to move the pistol grip there so you can actually see a little bit better. 
Okay. Pull out the hammer assembly. Safety assembly. Reach in from the top, grab out the safety ball. See your sound? I don't know how you get in there. Probably just to get Susan two screwdrivers or something. It's pretty tight. Trigger assembly. And there's probably 15 other little pieces I'm missing here. Like that hammer. Alright. Turn the rod. It's there. Looks like there's a little pin up here. Put a piece on this. Let's get the hints. Oh, there's also bearings on there. Okay. Does this whole butt plate come off here as well? Okay. That's mostly what we're missing there, is that just a little butt plate piece. Interesting. Again, another gun that has a lot of interesting pieces to it. As we go on, the guns are getting more and more complicated. It's kind of getting scary. Because <laughs> it's a lot of work on these guns to get the game modes complete already. Oop. Sorry. Think. Don't just click on stuff. Butt soft weave re release. Pivot arm, pin assembly. Gonna leave that floating for the moment. Clutch bearings. Loose spring button assembly. Um, follower. Splinter drive. Magazine compression. Front end cap. No. Okay. Other cap with something goes this, then the whole cut plate goes on. Magazine outer shell. Lower ribbon clamp. Upper ribbon clamp. Okay. Now we're we'll assembling. Oops, so that's the hammer. We want to put together both the trigger assembly first. Oh, sorry, where is it? Sear assembly, and I think there's one other piece that kind of went kind of like straight down in there. Yeah, bolt catch assembly is what I'm thinking of. Okay. And then the safety assembly can go on. Oop. Safety ball assembly. Not the hammer assembly yet? Well, that's part of that. Pistol grip assembly. Pistol grip cover assembly. No. Oh, I didn't put the hammer bushing back on. Because I was going to say, the hammer must be able to go in at this point. Hmm. Just wondering if I'm missing something or if that's just the way it works. Eh, we'll put together other pieces. Firing pin. Oops. No. Return spring. Then return spring assembly. Buffer. Distractor assembly. Hold handle assembly. Bolt complete. Okay. Just curious about all these pieces. Anyway, we'll put the, we can put back together the. Oops! Ouch! What am I thinking? Back together there. No. Front side post. Yeah, there you go. No, can't put the front side right in. Oh, at least until you put the barrel keys on. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, barrel shroud, barrel knot, and then the barrel can go back in. Okay, 
So we've got to reassemble all the catches and everything on the side here. Put the buttstock assembly back in. Oh yeah, you gotta remember these pins for the sights before you try to put the sights back together. Like, it says I'm missing something here. I can't think of what it would be. Because that doesn't go on till this. What am I missing? Oh, the, the gun goes down onto the piece. Spoo, hinge assembly. No? Those pieces? Okay. These pieces go in. Then you click on the bolt assembly. Then you click on the magazine. Complicated, actually. But, no problem. It's interesting nonetheless. Up into the operation mode. So, it's semi automatic, not fully automatic. So, you can see how the clip works now in. Oops, I didn't want that. I don't even think we need to slow down. It's not a gun that has too much. I guess we could still utilize it. Let's see. But you can see how the... Oops. It's quite interesting how these types of clips work. It's, it just spins and you have all your rounds right in there. And a follower just rotates and pushes the clips right through. So... It's pretty interesting how it works. You can just unload her as normal. You can also put on the safety. Um, so the front sight broke the front of the gun. The front sight post goes up and down. Um, you can also put a scope on it. Like so. I don't know why you'd use the, the front sight post if you have a scope on it, but you could. You can extend the stock. You can put a clear magazine on it. Like, it depends. Clear magazine's useful, um, depending on, um, how to say, if you want to see how many rounds you have without moving your entire, um, magazine. So the only thing left is the fire until it's empty and then reload. That's the only thing about this gun is if you have a semi-automatic gun that has a large grip, you just have to click the fire till empty button over and over and over again. So. Guess I could x-ray it. You guys kind of already saw all the parts in action, but I guess we can show it even more. As you go on the further x-rays, oh shoot. I accidentally just supposed to reload it, so we don't watch even more. Anyway guys, I'll end it here. You don't need to see this. So things are coming out for more World of Guns Gun Assembly for the Calico M100. Thanks guys. Later.